guy. There are times when I hate my computer. Sorry. Hi, everybody. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Hope you're all enjoying this rainy Tuesday. <laughs> I heard half an inch of water or something already. So, oh well, not good for the gardens. Um, so let's do quick roll call. So I have Joe Fletcher, Julie Lemos, Betty Standish, Amy Widoff, Joshua Campbell Torrens. Lauren, don't know your last name. Lauren is our new recording secretary. Oh, hi, Lauren. Welcome. Carol Bruce and Chris Trazik. Did I miss anybody? Okay. Great. Uh, so uh, this will be a shorter meeting, I think, uh, because we've talked about a lot about the <clears throat> events that are happening this fall um, in the stakeholders meeting. So I don't want to relive it again or revisit it again when we've already gone through it with all of the stakeholders. But um, if I can have a motion to approve the minutes of the August 2021 meeting. So, so Betty. Oh, I have Joshua as a motion and Betty the second. Uh, any edits, corrections, spelling errors, omissions? Yes. Hearing none, all those in favor, raise your hand. Aye. And ayes. Okay. Any not approving? All right, motion passes. Um, Peter, open business, open items, old business, EV charging station, any new updates? No new news to, um, to share. Okay. Uh, and the visitor map and Heritage Way kiosks updates? So uh, the Trinity Church uh, kiosk is finished and we have sent it to the uh, manufacturer. Ooh, um, the wood parcel panels, I believe, are also um, finished. Uh, they're probably just checking those one more time before they go to the uh, manufacturer. The business directory is a little bit behind the others. Uh, I need to do some spell checks and talk to a few people about how their business is identified there, which I'll probably do tomorrow. So that should be hopefully wrapped up by the end of the week. So we are um, still on schedule and uh, knock on wood. Um, I would think the Trinity Church will be installed first before anybody else's. Right. Okay, great. Oh, I can't wait to see the uh, the Heritage Way kiosks and the visitor maps. So great job. Okay. Um, Heritage Commission membership and appointments. Carol, welcome back. You're welcome. <laughs> that was a short absence. Well, I haven't, I haven't uh, accumulated any more knowledge in terms of social media. I'm sorry. <laughs> So um, Carol was just reappointed to the Heritage Commission. How long did we wait for that? Two years? Something like that. Beyond two years. Beyond two years. So she has threatened to resign every year just to make sure the council stays <laughs> on time. <laughs> you said it, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so going forward. Um, a promo video, WFSB and Peter, I'm sorry, I couldn't make that meeting. Just it's okay. It was just a, it was just an introductory uh, meeting. We met with um, representatives from WFSB. Uh, they are going to prepare a proposal. Um, obviously we have no funding to do something of that nature. So uh, we will be inquiring about using the uh, Recovery Act funding to potentially pay for something uh, like this. Um, so there seemed to be general support for doing something like this, but at the same time, without being able to use the Recovery Act, it's not a, uh, it's not a project we could fund. So um, there was talk about doing a October, November, December type of promotion with a commercial. Um, there would also be a social media component to it um, to promote, you know, the scarecrows and then events in November and then holidays in, on Maine in, um, 
in December. Um, the numbers are, I think, going to, based on our past experience, are going to be significant. I think the last time we got a proposal like this, it was in the twenty thousand dollar range. Mm -hmm. So obviously, without the Recovery Act funding, um, this is not something uh, either the EDIC or the Heritage Commission could fund under the existing budgets. So um, we wait and see what their proposal is, and then we'll obviously have to talk to the mayor and see if it's something that they want to carve out um, going forward. Okay. So, yeah, that's a really big price tag. <laughs> and do you remember how much we paid for the radio ad down in South Eastern Connecticut? It was much cheaper. No, it was only, um, I think three or four thousand dollars or something yeah. like that. Yeah, radio is a different. Um, but these would be commercials. They would change a little bit depending on the event. It would also there would also be a, a promo piece um, on Scott Haney's show, which is now Great Day Connecticut. I think was also being discussed. So they maybe you know they would focus on the scarecrows and then focus on an event in November and then focus on holidays in Maine in December. Uh, as part of that, but um, so that was the general idea. Are there any um, underwriters, sponsors that in exchange for this video brought to you by such and such? So there was talk about some of the shopkeepers also uh, stepping up. It wouldn't be 100% funded by us. They would, in, they would need to bring in, um, you know, some other whether it's the Charles or whether it's you know somebody uh, who would directly benefit from this, but it would be a gen, gen, a general piece about either come to Old Weathersfield, visit Historic Weathersfield. Uh, we also uh, the chairman of the Economic Development Commission was also in attendance, and and obviously the EDIC, unlike you guys, has a more global you know area, Berlin Turnpike, Silstein Highway. So there would also have to be pieces that promote other business districts in town separate from the um, old Weathersfield area. So, um, and and obviously as part of that, they would reach out, you know, to people like the Weathersfield Shopping Center or the Golf Brook Shops or some of the other folks who might have more significant marketing dollars to spend. So that would be, that would be part of it too. All right. So um, yeah, keep us posted then in terms of when they come through with the proposal. Um, but yeah, without having an additional infusion of cash from somebody, I'm not sure how it's gonna work. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cultural district designation that went before the council this week, yesterday? It went- um, Or the week before? Week before. Whenever that meeting was, I'm looking at the calendar. I'm trying to. It might have been the the 13th. Um, yes. Um, they were really very few questions. Generally supportive of it. I explained to them, you know, that there will be a public, uh, you know, outreach component. Um, just generally positive response. It was unanimously endorsed. So um, we now just need to carve out some time to get into the weeds on that and get it, get the application uh, submitted. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, we did, we did um, select the part-time economic development coordinator. Part of that person's position will be to help uh, with heritage uh, as well. Um, she will not be starting, however, until October 18th. So uh, one of the things I'm going to ask her to work on is, is this designation as well. So um, so that's probably the time frame likely to start that up again in, in, in seriousness. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy you finally found somebody. Yay. So how many hours is this person working? Uh, up to 19, but there's also talk about <laughs> maybe expanding that with recovery act funding, but that's a separate conversation, but 19 uh, is, is approved. Okay, great. I think that's terrific. All right. So I can we can assume that we will meet her at the October meeting. Yes. Okay. 
or before that, maybe. Okay, terrific. Okay. All right. Um, anything else under old business? Okay. Uh, moving on to new business. Broad Street Green brochure. Um, did we identify? It was the. Oh my God! I just drew a blank on their name. Rob Gary and the Village Improvement. Thank you, Village Improvement. Yes, I um, I reached out to Phil Loman. Um, they did have a um, secret stash that I was that I wasn't aware of of um, brochures. So um, I do have a box and a half here um, available now. So uh, we did not have to, and they, and they think they have a supply that will last them for a good period of time. So we did not have to um, uh, expend any funds. However, they were very happy to hear that we would be interested in helping them uh, going forward to, to offset some of the printing costs. So, um, so we're, okay. we're good on that. Good, yay. All right, and the Heritage Way brochure? Heritage Way brochure, Phil Lohman is, we, we, um, we ordered 500. Phil okay. uh, was, um, felt that 500 would get him through, um, you know, through till, you know, November, December. Um, and Phil is working on um, updating, up, it. updating it uh, with the new locations, with the new narratives um, and uh, the new blurbs that go with that. And then once that's done, um, you know, towards the end of the year, beginning of the next year, we'll get a price quote on the printing, probably, probably a couple thousand. So we have them for next year. Right, okay, great. Um, and did we use CTM for the printing of those or did we use local? Uh, we used uh, the printing shop locally here across the street. Okay. okay, and and as long as it fits within our budget, it makes sense to promote and support our local businesses. So, okay, good. Uh, 2021 photo contest. Jesse, thank you for some of your um, social media posts out there, reminding people to take their pictures, get it out there. Um, Peter, it ends in. Just remind me. I'm sorry. I set the I set the deadline for November first, first, which is a Monday. I just played around with it. We talked about doing it the week before, but we wanted to get through Halloween. And so um, we have a few submissions already, believe it or not. Good. Um, we set up a Dropbox account. So people are, you know, already going into the account. Um, we mailed the, we sent the um, notice to all the previous photographers. We posted on social media. Um, so we're just waiting for folks to, start submitting their, um, we should probably talk about a date for judging. Yeah. I was just going to say, since we- can I, can I ask a question? Cause I'm new. Um, are the photos exhibited at some point? We put them in the calendar. But are they, are we do, we do a slide? We do a, we've historically done a, a slide presentation at the um, salute to business event, which is normally in December, but we've moved, had to move it up to an outside venue in October. Uh, we won't have them for this year because of the timing, um, but we have um, done slideshows in the past. We don't have an exhibit, but if somebody wanted to. I mean, we would be interested potentially in hosting, you know, having them printed and mounted and uh, showing them as an exhibit. I think that could be kind of interesting if that was of interest to the team here. Sure. Um, you know, it could be a, a seasonal exhibit. It wouldn't be up through the summer season, perhaps, but a small exhibit. I think it could be kind of, kind of fun. You know how many we receive? Um, it varies from year to year, but um, over a hundred. Over a hundred, yeah. Just so, so you know, Jeff. We probably we probably wouldn't print and display a hundred, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> There, there I are, just wanted you to know that. <laughs> there are usually some that, yes, aren't, uh, you know, worthy of putting up for display, but there usually is a core um, group of very high quality uh, imagery that you could probably selectively go through and, and put in some exhibit, depending on how much space you have. 
I was going to say there's probably a good 25 that you could easily um, accommodate. Yeah. Do that. So. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind, Joshua, and you'll be, you'll be, you can sit and go through all the photos and you'll see what we mean. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I think if it was of interest, then, I mean, if we wanted to do it, it would be, you know, it'd be great to follow up and see if we, if it, if it has legs, then I would like to get it in our schedule sooner than later. But I think it could be a, it could be a really fun thing. And, you know, maybe there's a exhibit opening or something. And you can invite them all to attend. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah. Could so you, do a, you do a reveal? Could you do a, a night where you reveal the winners that are in the calendar? We usually do it at the Salute to Business event. Gotcha. So this okay. year, if we do something, it would have to be different. Um, so you could maybe do it at, at the museum if you, you know. Could you do it at Holidays on Main? We have a, it's poss possibly. I'm asking Peter more than whether we'd be ready to. Yeah, I would. I would think you. I, you, if you do the judging in November, right, and you w held off on the on, on the notice, and then on you know announced it at the. I mean, there's a stage and everything there, right? Normally. Yeah, yeah the we stage probably is couldn't the... do the. We wouldn't be able to do an exhibit until probably after the holiday. Right. Uh, no, and that's understandable. But at yeah. least you could announce the winners. You could uh, announce the exhibit. As well, if you right. if we had you know agreed yeah. to it ahead of time at the uh, holidays on Maine, if if they can squeeze us in. Yeah, Josh, if you want to do something after holidays on Maine, but want want to announce we, we have we're having what do they call it the show stage, and um, showmobile. So showmobile, yeah. So uh, you're more than welcome to allot some time and do that. Let me know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I. I I'll maybe if I have a follow up of whoever is in charge of the of the photos to see how you know yeah. see how feasible and yeah. I'll, I'll talk to our curator just to make yeah I think we, we, we don't need to know right away on on my part so okay. never just keep it in mind. I'm just it might be a nice way to show more of the photos that could be and you know just how you know could be. Yeah, but we're always looking for new exhibits. So yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah. yeah, and really, you could even just do. I mean, we do a slideshow of all of most of them. You could have that running somewhere else too, because they're all digital. And so we have these TVs that we think we have figured out how to use. <laughs> just to be <laughs> honest, that you know we could print twenty five that are the premiere. But we could show all of them on our big screen TVs in the galleries too. So, yeah. All right. Um, so we can do some follow up on that. Um, let's talk about a date for um, judging, though. Um, <clears throat> so if they're coming in on, uh, would you say November first? November first. It's election day on the second. Do you want to do it? Uh, you're going to need time to organize, et cetera. Um, do you want to do it the week before Thanksgiving or you want to do it the second week of November? Yeah, if we do it in the middle of November, that, that would work. Um, the 17th is a Wednesday, 18th is a Thursday. Yep. Mm -hmm. What do people's calendars look like? Um, Usually we do it at lunchtime, don't we? Right. Those both days are good for me. Okay. Everybody that's on this meeting is part of is part of the judging committee. So, um, is one day better than another for some people? I'm open for both days. Deb's okay. I'm open for both days. days. Carol's good for both days. Joshua's good for both days. Jill. Yep. Okay, Betty, Amy? Same for Betty. Okay, so Peter, it's really your call. Let's do Thursday, November 18th at 11.30. Yep. Um, we can 
certainly use the council chambers as we've done in the past with the mm -hmm. big screen and everything like that. So assuming everything keeps, you know, open and. Yep. And if we spread out, will we still have to wear masks? You need to wear masks to come into the building, but once you get into your, your space, you can option, option out. Okay. I'm sorry, but can you repeat that date and time? Sure. Sorry. Thursday, November 18th at 11.30 a.m. at Town Hall. Thank you. Okay. All right. Great. Um, so then um, we'll be, then we should hopefully have enough time to um, be able to announce it at the holidays on Main, if that works. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Uh, quarterly stakeholders meeting. So we had actually a really productive meeting <clears throat> um, two weeks ago, right? Who's that? Amy, Betty, Deb, Joshua. <laughs> um, there was a lot of there was a lot of good uh, conversation and kind of coordination. Uh, Josh, I'm going to put you on the spot. You had said you could draft a flyer up with a QR code that we would then print and the shopkeepers could put in their windows um, that talked about all of the events for um, basically October into November. Yes, yeah, so I'm happy to report we have the QR code. I just need to put it into a simple flyer, which is on tomorrow's agenda, and I'll get it to Peter tomorrow. Um, okay. And then, you know, I think it will be on an eight and a half by 11. So people could then print it themselves. I'm happy to print, you know, 30 or so here if people need want to pick them up. But it's, um, it would be, it's very simple. It's not a, it's not a, an elaborate design of any way. It's really just to try to get people to the, to the, to the website. Yeah. I, can I, um, so I know we said at the meeting, we're going to, you know, do that till November, but do you think we should add Holiday on Main to that? Oh, definitely. The QR code, it goes to the, to the, to the old Weathersfield website that like calendar of events, which okay. goes, it lists all of them, so. <laughs> Great, thank you. So part of that, Jesse, because I know you weren't at the meeting, is it's sending it to our website with the listing of events. So I think we just need to um, make sure that the, the, the latest or the newest event coming up is kind of at the top of that page for people. Um, I don't know how Peter, it works. I think Peter, it does you it automatically, asked, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, Peter, you asked me for a QR code. Is, it the, is this the same code? Yes. Yep. Yeah, so it's gonna take it's gonna take them to the historic, you know, Weathersfield website. Um, and then okay. people can can go from go from there. Did you get my email with the QR code? Yes, because I made one up too as well. Um, we we got one and we checked it. It worked and passed it on to Josh. Josh, it worked for okay. you too, right? Yeah. Can I can I can you give me permission to share oh, the sure. screen? Because I just I'll show you the one that I thought would be yep. best. Yeah. Okay, you should be good to go. So you, you all can hold up your iPhone right now to your screen and it should should work. Oh. Screen. Yep. And it'll, you'll see, it'll go right to it. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Chris, I have an Android, so I don't think it works the same way with Androids. Anyway, so that's that's the one that I'm just you know just it's gonna just simply gonna say, you know, fall in Weathersfield. Um, I'm I might be able to possibly track these scans. I'm gonna look into that. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Ricky, what can I do? <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, so Josh, are you going to do it at a high enough resolution that if we blow it up for the um, A-frame signs, or is that not something? I, I've got to check the resolution. I had a question about whether that QR code would blow up big enough for that size. Okay. So I'm not sure the A-frames would would work. Okay. Essentially. Yep. But I, I definitely, in fact, I'm quite sure that that resolution will, but that it's fine for a eight and a half by 11. Okay. Okay. Um, so it is in people's best interest to make sure that um, they have given their information to ja, uh, to Jesse. So when people use the QR code, your event's actually there. Um, so just make sure you've got all of the information. Um, you can see if you look at the calendar, it actually blows it up on the website um, and then shows pretty much everything. Um, the one thing, Jess, is uh, because Scarecrow's on along Main is the whole month, does it actually work? Now let me see if I can go to October. Sorry. So <clears throat> you just have it on the first day, but not on every day. I don't know how we fix that. I could have it on every day. Um, okay. It, I just never do it because it, it looks pretty weird. Uh, I can do it. Okay. Um, so yeah. It's because it's just it's just repeated over the the whole thing, and but yeah, it could be done. I mean, even if it just says scarecrows on the rest of the month, so people know that yeah they can look at it. I'll try to figure it out because um, I know like uh, when I work with the Great Elm uh, calendar. It has it so it kind of stretches out over the week a little bit. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't pop up every day, but I can't quite figure out how to do that with the um with uh QSend. I don't think they have the option, but I can still kind of look into it. Okay. All right. Um yeah, so that'll be good. And then um if we can we also talked about as part of this that we would use more of the sandwich boards that are out there and just blow up the QR code and have those sandwich boards strategically placed. Um, <clears throat> so as people are walking around, they can also uh, take advantage of doing the QR code and see what's going on there. Um, and then we agreed that it made sense to uh, meet a little earlier. So we're meeting in December and talking about planning for uh, winter and spring events so that there's enough time to do that. But um, there was a lot of kind of, oh, we can take advantage of that and, and working together. So I just think it was a great meeting um, and kind of figuring out how to build on each other's events more. Did I miss anything? Anybody else who was there? No, just a reminder folks for next year, start getting your dates for events um, sort of locked in so that we can publish them in the town calendar. We'll be doing a solicitation shortly asking you to get us those dates for next year so that at least we have lead time to print them and get them in the town calendar and also populate the calendar in advance so that we can plan if we're going to do some mutual, you know, either advertising or, uh, you know, weekends where there's multiple events going on, that kind of thing. Yeah, so, okay. All right, um, fall event calendar and promo. Isn't that the same as Yeah, it's, a, it's the same, yep. It's yep. the same, thank you, I was just saying. Um, so similar to business is not in December this year. <laughs> so it's on the 20th and it time frame. Um, Right after work, you know, five five thirty, and then going from there. Usually, last couple hours. It'll be a little bit different this year. Um, maybe less award winners. Obviously, we, we can't. We won't be doing the photo um, contest either. So a little bit of a different flavor. We're doing it uh, outside on the deck at the river. Um, and hopefully, it'll be not too cold. Uh, but also, they um, are closing the restaurant so that if people are willing to go inside, uh, they will have that option as well. And that whole wall is glass. So if you're inside, you can still see what's going on outside. 
and the PA system, the mic, the, the uh, speaker system covers both inside and outside. And they have heaters outside of that. They have heaters that, so it might be hotter outside than it is inside. Um, yeah. The only, uh, we do normally do a tourism award. Um, I would suggest there's at least two uh, potential candidates this year. Uh, I don't think we recognize during, um, we canceled last year's event, so we didn't have it. So it's been two years. I think yeah. Slip Away River Tours yep. has obviously been in operation during that time. And then obviously, you know, the expansion uh, at the Webb Dean Stevens Museum is another um, worthy project for the for the tourism award. We haven't given out two in the past, but obviously we skipped a year. So, um, so that's something I wanted to bring up and see if the commission was was okay with that. Sure. Yeah, the rest of you, see, I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, and going forward, everybody okay with that? Anybody not yes. okay with that? Uh, just, I, I would abstain from the conversation, that's all. Okay. Now, Peter, I think that's a great idea. Um, is Bill going to be around? I don't know where he goes in the... I'm going to, I'm going to reach out to him and even if he's maybe his daughters or, you know, um, yeah. I know it's been a tough year for him this year because the river was so high. He had to cancel so many days. Um, and I would tell you the one time when I chartered him, we walked off the boat in ankle deep water all the way down the dock to get back to the land. Because <laughs> the river rose for uh, that much in the hour and a half we were out. Wow. Yeah. It was kind of funny. Yeah, like, oh, shoes are coming off. <laughs> so. Peter, on the salute to business, I know we talked about there being a limited amount of people. Um, so how, 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 how are we getting people to go? Is it going to be announced or? Yeah, it's going to be announced. I just haven't had the chance to get around okay. to that yet. Uh, the, okay. the inside and the outside seating, I think, is um, over 140 people. So I'm not, I'm not worried about, you know, I, I'm more worried about getting people to come rather than too many. Yeah. So when you get it all prepared, let me know and I can help you send it out. Sure. Um, Peter, yeah. Um, yeah. Melinda is in the waiting room. She'd like to join the meeting. Thanks, Jill. Thank well, you. She's not popping up here. Yeah, she's not showing up in the waiting room for some reason. So do you have the right um, code? Who's eight six four? The right Zoom code. Yes, right. Who's two one two seven six two six? Is that Charlie? I don't know. Yeah, she's not. Um, she's not showing up here, as in the in the waiting room. Um, Did she text you, Jill? She emailed all of us, so I just replied. Try again. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, so Peter, just keep an eye out for uh, Melinda then yep. as we go. Okay, although actually we're almost done because <laughs> I know half of you are going to another meeting in a few in, in not that long a time period. Um, <clears throat> so under report, any new any other new business that people want to bring up or talk about? Okay. All right, under reports, um, I'm really just gonna say, uh, we don't need to go through all of the events. Uh, we all know that we can use the QR code. We talked about those um, in fairly great detail. So it's whether there's any other business that you want to let us know about, um, I think would be the best way. Peter, Judy's not here. Do you wanna do EDIC? No, the it's, it's salute's the big upcoming event and I did, you know, let you know that we retained our um, part-time person. So those are the big, big news events. Yep. Okay. 
<clears throat> Belinda still hasn't gotten in yet? Nope. Okay. Um, Amy or Jill, anything exciting going on other than upcoming exhibits, events? You've got a craft show going on in just a couple of days. Weather's looking okay. <laughs> There's the Nexus event that maybe Betty would like to chime in a little bit more on the 21st. It's a cooperative event. Um, I'll, I'll wait my turn. I think I'm further down on the thing. She is further down. Yep. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Josh, I saw your social media post on your fiddlers coming up. Um, but anything else going on in terms of what Dean Stevens? Um, any uh, any yeah, no, I mean, I think um, uh, just we talked about the, you know, great events, but any help you guys can help uh, give with pushing out our events. The tickets are going pretty quickly for both the music events, the web bar and traditional music concerts. Um, so um, please get your tickets soon if you want to come. Um, it's exciting. Uh, and then which is in Tombstones, which I think we talked about. There was a selling out and then the bald forcing and then the antique show. Um, we're on, we're kind of in the uh, Christmas planning mode now, like, or holiday planning mode, like right. so many are, so. Okay, all right, good. Betty? Yeah, okay, so um, our next Nexus event with um, Historical Society is uh, Thursday the 21st. It's with Matt and Atla de Champlin. Um, the group is the Hot Club, uh, local, they're wonderful, very popular. There's a, it's a five piece um, outfit and um, I think they've played at the uh, Caney before, but um, so it's been a while, a couple of years. We also have uh, two horticultural workshops, one of which is a pumpkin arrangement workshop on Sunday the 17th. It's two hours in the afternoon. It's kind of a fun thing to do with, you know, your mom, aunt, cousin, whatever, or, or, or um, BFF. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, um, and I think I might ask if they want if we could get discount if they want to, you know, come as a group, you know, two to four people, whatever. It's just a fun afternoon and doing something, you know, different. Yeah. yeah. And then we have the uh, the wreath workshop the Sunday of um, right after Thanksgiving. So yeah, I think that's it for us. We have a figure drawing class. If anybody wants to try drawing the figure on Sunday the twenty fourth, something different. Yeah. Great. Hello. Hi. Hi, it's Melinda. I finally got in. Oh, good. You've actually been in for a while. I think uh, it wasn't allowing Paris. me to say anything for whatever reason. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I could so hear you, good. but I couldn't, I couldn't talk. Oh, so sorry about that. Um, so no Melinda, worries. Any updates you want to give us on shopkeepers? We weren't going to go through any of the long listing of events because we covered those in our stakeholders meeting. Um, but any yep. updates or news that you want to share? None from our prior meeting. We, we have a record number of people who have signed up for the Scarecrows on Main. Wow. So there is going to be quite a few scarecrows on display all along Main Street. So it's it's, it's very exciting. Uh, Bryce from the Charles and Vinny from Drumroll Coffee um, installed all the stakes yesterday. So you'll start to see all the stakes along Main Street. And um, uh, the assignments have been given out. Uh, email communication has gone out to all of the uh, contest entrants. So those, those should be going up towards the end of the week and um, all contest entries must be up for Saturday. Good. Wow, that'll be exciting then, great. Okay, um, before I move on to Jesse, Peter, um, I'm sorry, she, Melinda was talking and I thought, ooh, parking. Did you know the police is get, are giving out tickets to anybody who parks behind the firehouse? I'm sorry, say that one more time. <clears throat> the police are giving tickets to people who park behind the firehouse. Tickets for what? Illegal parking. Doesn't, 
unless they're parking in the no parking area. There's there's some no parking areas there. I, I don't know. I just know. Yeah, we there's an area up so that the fire trucks can get out. So right. if people are parking there where it says no parking, they should get tickets. Um, it doesn't sound like that's what happened, but I just wanted you to be aware of that. Okay. Who are you, who? Uh, that we had a dance at the synagogue and people were parking back there and yeah, they got tickets. Okay. Yes, Chris, I, I happened to be at the Charles when that happened. Mm -hmm. They were parked in back of the, in back of the, in back of the fire truck doors. Okay. So, yeah. They were illegally yeah. parked. I just happened to be there. Yeah. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah. So, yeah. And I think part of it is the Charles as signage there, which might not be particularly clear. Yeah. Yeah. That could be. I don't know. So, signage where? It, telling people where to park there. Yeah, but if, the, if there's clearly no parking signs, any any direction somebody gave, common sense would prevail. You don't right. park in a no parking zone. Yeah, I know. So, but just letting you know, it may become an issue if that happens more often. So, okay. Sorry, sidetrack. Jesse, where are you? Can everybody's um, face moved around. Everybody moved to locations on my Zoom screen. I hate that. <laughs> Website and social media. Uh, not, nothing really new. Um, we uh, had a big um, August with uh, social media stats. Uh, we went down a little bit, but I, uh, with everything going on, it should be picking right back up again into October. Um, we did have some pretty big posts with um, Boondago Beer and um, Scarecrow posts, Fall posts are pretty huge. Um, yeah. Uh, other than that, I had a few, uh, just maybe a reminder, I really need November and December events. Um, I know not much usually goes on, but uh, if we have a QR code and stuff, it's it's looking pretty bare right now, November and December. Um, so it's just anything would be, would be nice. Um, also, I was curious if, I, I thought I saw, but I'm not sure. Um, and if anyone would know, uh, if the 9-11 exhibit was extended to October 3rd, uh, anybody? Yeah, that's true. That's true, okay. Yes. All right, um, I'm also gonna try to get- um, By popular demand. By popular demand, good. Um, good. I'm also gonna try to get the newsletter out as early as possible with all these events we have over this weekend. Um, so uh, what is today, Tuesday? So I'll try for maybe tomorrow night. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. So uh, if you need you. to get your events in tomorrow night's, you know, it for the newsletter. So sorry. It's okay. I was interrupting you. Sorry. Okay. Um, De Deborah, sorry. I skipped right over you and we, we were, anything you want to talk about in terms well, of chamber? Well, um, nothing more. So I'll just be quick about it. Then we discussed at the last meeting, but October 29th is our beer and barbecue. Um, I'm going to start pushing that a lot. I sent out a few things, but I'll start pushing that a lot. Um, and we are holidays on Maine preps are underway, uh, leaving now to go to a meeting with the shopkeepers to, um, organize something with them, but, uh, met with the town and the vendors are starting to come in. So yeah should be a good event okay all right great yeah um, and anything that anybody wants to do you know like i offered to josh just let me know and we'll we'll put it on the agenda deb this is melinda will, will you be publishing uh, meeting minutes from your meeting tonight with the shopkeepers association yes i was going to because uh although there are several who are coming there's several who can't so i was going to do that yes great Th thank you yeah, I yeah, your your shopkeeper meeting notes are great to have. So I'm gonna do the same for you. Thank um, you. having said that, I'm gonna sign off since I'm not we're meeting at the uh at uh heirloom market, so I'm gonna sign off so I can leave. Yep. Totally okay. Good. Yep, and I know several of you are going to that meeting. So if there is no other business, oh, okay. um, motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you. All right. Again from Betty. Thank you, Betty. All right. 
Uh, and those who are going to the meeting, have a good night. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thank you.